Hi, this is Jeff Harkness. It's time to go on campus for week seven of the Missouri Valley Football Conference. And there is only one game to talk about this week. That is the big South Dakota Showdown Series game. South Dakota State, number five in the nation, at South Dakota, Saturday, in the Dakota Dome, one o'clock kickoff. And for the first time in the four meetings at the Division I level between these two teams, both teams have a chance to make the playoffs. The Jackrabbits still, with the possibility of securing one of those top eight seeds, if they went out, they should get one of those top eight seeds for the first time in school history and get a first round bye. If the Coyotes went out this week and next week, then they have an opportunity to go to the playoffs for the first time in the Division I era. So plenty at stake tomorrow for a uh, rivalry that has been very, very lopsided lately. Keep in mind, they didn't play each other for nine years while South Dakota State went Division I, while USD was transitioning to Division I a few years later. But in the last six meetings, three in the Division I era, three back in the D2 days, South Dakota State's won all six of those meetings. And in fact, in those six games, USD has never even had a lead in those six games. You got away all the way back to... 2002, with about three minutes to play, the Coyotes had a 20-all tie at that point. That's the closest they've been to South Dakota State in a football game late in the game in a number of years. This uh, series has been a blowout in a lot of respects, especially in the first half, where the Coyotes don't have a first-quarter touchdown against the Jacks in the last three meetings. In fact, they've been outscored 68-6 to by South Dakota State in the first half of those three meetings. But again, this is a team that has playoff aspirations this year, and they have a quarterback that's riding a high right now. Ryan Sager has completed completed two-thirds or more of his passes in uh, several of their last games, and in fact is coming off his first ever three-touchdown performance against Southern Illinois last week. Defensively, Andrew Van Ginkle, the redshirt freshman from Rock Valley, continues to play very, very well as he's number uh, in the top 10 of the nation in sacks, and uh, South Dakota State is going to have to try to find a way to work around Van Ginkle up front and also a linebacking core with the likes of Keen Loggy and then uh, Graham and others in the backfield that have picked off 10 passes this year for the University of South Dakota. They've played much better defense since getting blown out in Western Illinois earlier this year. For the Jackrabbits, well, Jake Winicky, their All-American, has practiced more this week than he has in the last six weeks, which means he's getting a lot healthier, which is bad news for defenses because we all know what Winicky is capable of. And uh, he continues to be one of the top receivers in the country, the number two receiver in the Missouri Valley. And uh, he will be a handful for this USD defense. Meanwhile, quarterback-wise, we've seen the rotation with Zach Lujan and Taron Christian over the past several weeks. If you ask me, I think we're going to see a lot more of Christian, if not Christian exclusively in this game on Saturday because... USD has that ability to mount a pass rush. Christian is going to be able to use his legs to get out of some of those um, tightening uh, pockets and collapsing pockets more so than Zach Lujan would have a chance to do that. And so look for Christian to get a considerable amount of playing time, if not getting a start this week for South Dakota State. Kicking game, USD's got an advantage there. Miles Bergner had a shaky start to start the year, but he's hit seven straight now since they won up at North Dakota State earlier this year. He had a game winner there, and he's hit his next six in a row since then. And uh, Bergner, also one of the top punters in the country as well. They've got a a returner in Anderson, who's one of the top returners in the country. And so special teams, a slight edge to the Coyotes as well. And there'll be uh, an incredible atmosphere in the Dakota Dome, 10,000 on hand to watch the fourth meeting in the Division I era between these two teams. I'm not even going to tell you about the story, about how many times they've played, because the two schools... Can't even agree on how many times they played over the years. One thing we do know, the very first game was the same year South Dakota became a state, 1889. That game ended in a 6-6 tie. I'll tell you right now, there will be no 6-6 tie Saturday at the Dakota Dome.